Hi, I'm Steve Hauser. I'm the current president of the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association. Hello and welcome. I'm Bruce Uvjagli, chair of the 2017 ISE program committee. Um, hello, I'm Miguel Perez Pinsam. I'm the uh, new vice chair for the uh, ISC uh, program committee. So we are here in Houston at the 2017 International Stroke Conference, the premier international conference for the study of cardiovascular diseases of the brain and in particular stroke science. I'm here with, with our two hardworking program chairs. I looked through the program this morning and it really looks to be outstanding. So I'd like to ask each of them to tell us a little bit about some of the highlights of the meeting that we're about to see. Thank you very much, Steve. Thanks for the kind words. It's been a team effort. The entire program committee has been hard at work. So we're very gratified to see the impressive program we have for this year. Um, and so some of the highlights, I would say, are the interesting uh, clinical trial late breakers that we have, some of the new sessions that we have at ISC for the very first time. So for instance, what I'm looking forward to is the results of the spotlight trial. This is looking at the effect of recombinant factor 7A versus placebo on final ICH volume in patients who have spot sign on CTA. I'm also looking forward to the head post trial, which is comparing having the head of the bed lying flat was having the head of the bed at a 30 degree incline to see what effect it has on ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke outcomes. I'm looking forward to the early versus delayed statin trial called the ASSORT trial, which is looking at starting statins early in the first 24 hours versus starting them one week later in patients who have an acute ischemic stroke. And of course, not all research questions can be addressed with clinical trials. And so I'm also looking forward to some registry-based studies, things like um, the Get With Guidelines Stroke Study, which is looking at the effect of the positive endovascular clinical trials in 2015 and what impact that's had on the utilization of endovascular therapies nationwide. I'm also looking forward to uh, data from the Stratus registry looking at the effect of taking um, people with acute ischemic stroke directly to endovascular capable hospitals versus taking them to a nearby community hospital. Also looking forward to data from Chinese national stroke registries and Korean stro national stroke registries. But beyond the exciting science that we have, we also have some very new sessions at ISC, mm -hmm. as Miguel is quite aware. So um, on Thursday, we have our SET talks, SET starting for cerebrovascular education and discovery talks. These are TED-like talks given by eminent scientists in the field, 18-minute, uh, very vivid, compelling talks on very novel, interesting ideas. So that's going to be very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have another new session, which is the Game of Strokes. This is a quiz-like type session, which pits three teams of five individuals representing different regions, Asia, Australia, um, US, Canada, and Europe, and they're going to be competing for what we're calling the Gold Brain Trophy. <laughs> and it's going to be an exciting time to instill and reinforce knowledge about the fundamentals of stroke management. And then finally on Friday, we have the Stroke Crossfire Debates. And these look at very hot and controversial topics being debated by leading researchers in the field. So for instance, we'll be looking at the potential role of um, medical therapy in severe asymptomatic carotid stenosis. We're looking at the potential role of surgery for asymptomatic small but accessible AVMs. And finally, we'll also be looking at the issue of the potential role of doing direct thrombectomy for large vessel occlusion um, in those patients as well. So very exciting. Miguel? Well, thank you, Bruce. Uh, that was a, a good uh, <laughs> summary of the uh, uh, conference. Uh, I have to say that uh, Bruce is being uh, instrumental in getting uh, these creative sessions uh, into uh, the new uh, conference. So um, I just want to mention a couple uh, additional ones. Um, Salostasol uh, versus aspirin is one trial that I'll be looking for. Uh, it's interesting, it's uh, trying to reduce uh, hemorrhagic uh, incidents after stroke, uh, multi-bleeds, uh, that, that's one that I'll be looking for. The, uh, the other one is, uh, is it has to do with antiplatelet treatment. So this is um, an interesting one because uh, uh, now they are trying to add three uh, uh, antiplatelet uh, treatments and we are eager to see what uh, the results are gonna be. Now uh, the committee has spent a lot of time trying to uh, add basic science uh, uh, 
uh, symposiums. Um, so we uh, we have been hard at work trying to to uh, bring some of the cutting edge research. Uh, as you know, it's essential to have uh, uh, very uh, cutting edge uh, basic science research that we can then use for potential therapies in the future. Uh, and uh, we have a number of sessions, uh, very exciting sessions, uh, just to name a few. Uh, on uh, uh, Wednesday, I think we have a session that has to do with uh, inflammation. Uh, inflammation, everybody thinks that is, is bad, but uh, in this session we're gonna explore uh, n a, a factors that actually are beneficial for stroke. So it, it will be interesting to see what the presentations will be. In addition to that, on a different day, on Thursday we're gonna have a session on uh, proteases and the effect of proteases on uh, the vasculature, and in the, ner in the nervous system. So that, that would be a, an, an important aspect too that we're gonna be looking at. Remember that TPA is a protease. Uh, so uh, we are finding out that these proteases actually have uh, novel properties and uh, this session will be looking at that. So as Miguel mentioned, this uh, what we've discussed is by no means exhaustive. We have many other items on the program that pertain to basic science, translational work, and clinical and population science as well. We look forward to lots of networking activities as well. So we think it's going to be a terrific program this year, and we look forward to seeing you um, at a session or on the hallways. Thank you.